Hello my YouTube friends, are you looking for a free solution to use your cell phone as a camera on your live stream? Well, it's not difficult to do. I'm going to show you how today. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. So let's get to it. <laughs> My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second down below and leave me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. It goes a long way towards helping YouTube share this content with a wider audience. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. If you're one of those 80%, please consider subscribing. It really helps me to continue to create content that helps you and it's totally free. So thanks. Every live streamer video needs some sort of good music, right? But how do you find good music for free that's not going to get you strikes to your live streams or your video? Today's sponsor, StreamTunes, is the answer. Now, StreamTunes is a 100% free platform of high-quality DMCA safe music, and it's always free. No strings attached, no bogus signups, nothing. Just free. Not only that, but StreamTunes is available on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and most, if not all streaming services including YouTube Music. And they have a library of more than 800 songs and it's growing by the day. Be sure to check out StreamTunes for yourself. There is a link in the description and like I said, it's totally 100% free. Now this totally free app works on Android and iPhone and it's so awesome you don't even need to install anything. Seriously. The first thing we're going to do is go to the OBS Ninja page on our cell phone. This is Android or iPhone so it doesn't matter which one. Then on this screen, you're just gonna wanna click add your camera to OBS. Then you're gonna wanna click allow so your mic and your camera can be used. Then you just select this drop down next to your camera and select which camera you wanna use on your phone. You can see audio sources. If you're just going to use the cell phone audio, it should already be set. Then for audio destinations, you might wanna select Bluetooth headphones or something like that if you're going to wanna hear the audio that's coming from here. Chances are, if you're just using it for a camera in your live stream, you you don't really need to mess around with this. The default is just fine. And if you're only using it for a second camera in your regular live stream, you're probably not gonna use the microphone input either. Now below that, we have digital audio effects. I'll click on here for a second. You can see there's a lot of different things in here and I'm gonna get into that a little later. So all we really need to do now, we have everything all set up. We can just click start. So in OBS, we are going to click the plus under sources and I already have my regular camera in here. We're gonna add a second camera for this and we're gonna select browser and I'm just gonna call this one video cam and click OK and now we just need to type in our URL here and you can see I have the screen up there it gives us the URL so I just type it in there then I'm gonna put our resolution in here 1920 by 1080 and we're gonna go and control audio via OBS and then I'm gonna click OK and this is what we get there is our cell phone camera so I can just crop this up by holding the alt key and dragging this this over and I can do that on the other side and I'll adjust the camera a little bit and crop it on the bottom and the top so we have basically a similar view that I get with my regular camera and there we go you can see it's a much brighter image I'd have to adjust my lights if I was going to use this camera as my main camera but other than that it works pretty well a little bit on the washed out side because of course the lighting is set up for a different camera. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this down a little bit, crop it up and you crop by holding the alt key and there we go. Just about perfect. So now I have it set up so it's at a different angle and I can crop that up as well. This is what I would be using this for on one of my streams. But this gives you an idea of what the different cameras look like with the lighting. Obviously, my main camera is a lot darker. It's not quite so washed out. But other than that, it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another scene here. And we'll just call it Cam 2. And I'm going to add that camera in there. We'll go to Browser. We already loaded it in. So we'll just add the video cam. And we can crop this up and embiggen it so it fills the screen for us. That looks good. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And now if I go back to my other camera, I can just remove the new one 
and drag this over. And now we have multiple camera angles for our live stream. So you can easily use your cell phone as a second camera or as your main camera. I would still recommend using some sort of microphone that's connected to your PC instead of the microphone that's on your cell phone. But you can see that this works fantastic and you're going to obviously adjust it for the proper lighting if that's what you're using. Now let me show you some of these other features. We're gonna go and select the digital background and this is the blur. A lot of people wanna to try to get that effect that I get with my DSLR. You can see that even when we turn it all the way down, it's not very appealing looking. That is definitely not the look that you would be going for. And you can see there's a lot of haloing around my head, so the effect doesn't work the way that you would hope it would work. Let's try some of these other ones. You can go with a digital green screen and add your own background. And again, you see the haloing effect that you get around the edges of your screen. So it's definitely not perfect and it's probably not a particularly good green screening option. Then again, some people really don't care, so it's fine. I think it's pretty messy, <laughs> but you know, depending upon what you're doing, if you're just having fun, it'll, it'll work in a pinch. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select another digital effect. We can try this anonymous mask. There we go. It works. It moves around with your face. It's kind of slow and sluggish and turns in weird ways. And it's definitely not an alternative to other face replacement software that I've showed you, but it does exist. It is a thing that you can use. There's one more digital effect we'll try here. And that one is the face mesh. And this is what this one looks like. That's kind of cool. I don't think any of these digital Digital effects are terribly useful, but I wanted you to know that they do exist. There's a lot more that you can do with this app as well. You can use it to add guests because you don't need to have the phones on the same network. There's even a producer screen so that you can organize the participants. And it's all free. If you want to see how to add guests using this software, well then definitely let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how to add really good face masks and digital effects to your live stream like this one, well then check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to StreamTunes for sponsoring this video. Their links are in the description down below under sponsors. You can definitely help the channel by supporting those sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without you, so thank you. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.